back. Today is kind of a tribute for teachers because as we head back into school, believe it or not, there's a nice wave of teachers who are talking about science experiments that they use, demonstrations more than experiments. They use at the beginning to get kids excited about science. Yeah, and so, that helps get them from the start, right? And you have to catch them pretty early on. So <laughs> yeah. I went out to the Facebook page. So the fan page, and you're welcome to take a look at it at facebook.com slash Steve Spangler. That's the fan page. And I posted to teachers, what are you doing in some of your, your beginning experiments? And you'll never guess they said Mentos and Diet Coke a lot. But uh, there's some other object lessons <laughs> I think are cool. And all of these are science, but they, they tend to kind of teach something this way. Just a glass of, or a pitcher of water here. Mm -hmm. Kind of a representative of the school, you know, just a, a pitcher of water. And it would be the, the school. And if I told you that there were students in the water, you would say there's nothing in the water. But it's, uh, it's really there. Reach your hand down inside and feel. Go ahead. Oh, yes, they I do. They are. Do you feel? Here, reach out. I reach out. Now, now, here, let's, un oh. let's uncover some of these. Look at this. Here are these uh, jelly, jelly marbles that are inside. Isn't that amazing? And let me dump some of them out and take a look this way. If you dump the water out, you can actually see them start to appear. So watch this. We dump the water out like this, and you can see them start to appear. It's an object lesson that teachers would talk about using uh, the concept of an invisible kid. And isn't it true in today's day and age that kids can sometimes be invisible in a school, mm -hmm. and we know too many of them that blend into their surroundings. Look at this. It's absolutely filled, so to speak, with kids. These are actually jelly marbles. These are little um, spheres that when you add to water, they swell up and they're super absorbent polymers that we've kind of played with before. But I thought it was clever as an object Very lesson. Clever. So as an idea, watch what a teacher will do. So a teacher on the first day of school will say, we don't want any invisible kids. That in the hands of a great teacher, you now just change the background color. And when you change the background color, look at this, they start to appear. Aww. So in the hands of a, of a teacher, a professional, don't they do their job of making sure that kids stand out in the most unusual ways? Look at this guy here. These are huge. Reach in and grab those. Say, they... Isn't that just, oh, oh aren't those amazing? Oh. So these huge jelly marbles just appear, and when they drop down into the water, they will just vanish. Isn't that kind of fun? So as an object lesson. Okay, move over, because you know I can never do a segment with you without popping and fizzing and so forth. No. If you said that an Alka-Seltzer tablet is representative of a student that we might have in class, you would use things like uh, enthusiasm and excitement and, and potential energy that's inside. However, if you take an Alka-Seltzer tablet and drop it in something like oil, it's a great example of the Alka-Seltzer not being in the right environment. Look at how it does nothing inside nothing. there. So you hang on here. When the Alka-Seltzer, of course, is in the right environment, then we have bub bubbling and fizzing, and we get that release of energy. So I think it's a, a nice way to be able to show kids and say, I've got to make sure that you're learning environment is right. These are the rules for the classroom. This is how we do things at school and so forth. And that enthusiasm is enough to get kids pretty excited. And you know what's going to happen here because I have film canisters. Ready? <laughs> is this <You> know. fun? <laughs> so here's what you do. They're like antiques for, for kids nowadays. They have no idea what that what is. is that? Put on your glasses, all right? So here's what you and I are going to do. Because in the hands in the right learning environment, if you can't control a kid's enthusiasm, or at least that's what the object no. lesson is, all right? Just so here's what you and I are going to do. You ready? We're going to drop these in, put the lid on top, 10 of them. Ready? You can do doubles. Ready, set, no. go. Drop them in, but lid on top. Come on, on, you can do it. Put them on, put them on, put them on. Good job. You can't control that enthusiasm after a little while. Can you do this one right here? Oh, this is beautiful. Go. This is nice. <laughs> See, you just can't control enthusiasm. This is what happens to a teacher in the weirdest time. Go ahead. Tell them what's on the website while things are exploding and we're, and we're taking out things on set. You can find Steve's experiments again by going to the on-air tab on 9news.com. Ooh, I even got spritzed in the glasses. That's all <laughs> good. That I like that. Very, very good. Our teachers are going to have a great year. Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you. Is that fun?